Good morning, everyone. Uh, my name is Dr. Kunal Patel, and today in this video, we are going to see how you can give a professional look to your edit text, right? So simply, whenever we are creating a login page, then we are providing username and password, right? So in that design, you can see that we have a edit text and with the logo with the person and for the password with the logo with log right so this looks very simple okay so suppose if i want to create a particular edit text with some styles right so how you can create like suppose here i am running this application so here it looks very simple but whenever i click on it right so you can see that the border around the edit text will be in a some particular color and the logo will be also that so it is highlighted similarly when i click on this password field then also it gets focused and it has some different color right so how you can give this kind of styles to your particular controls via widgets right so here simply uh, you just need to create that user interface according to your requirement like here you have one edit text okay and uh, simply from the palettes you can choose the particular edit text right so here you can see there is a plain text you can see so it is known as the edit text right now how you can make a border around it and how you can give a different colors and how you can put this particular logo in this style right so let's start about that how you can give this so first of all i just need to select it you can just verify the uh, noticeable attributes of this so here we are giving the id right we are providing the hint that is enter username so it is which is visible over here okay now here uh, we just uh, we just need to give the particular user borders right so for that you need to create that shape so how you can create that shape first of all so here you can see you can just go to the drawable folder and right click over here and new drawable resource file right so here you can give any of the particular name of that file so here i have given the name that is custom underscore user okay so that particular field i have created over here like this right so now you can see whenever you are adding that in this you just need to type a selector that is selector whichever we have seen over here so in that you have to add the items right so now two items uh, we need to add okay so whenever our edit text edit text is not in a focus so at that time it should be gray and when i click on it so it is in a focused so it should some it should have some color right so here the purple color i have assigned so how you can create that right so the first of all you can see over here so here simply you just whenever you want to add the item so simply type the item and you can just put it right so likewise i have added the items over here right so the first item and in that state underscore focus is equals to true so whenever it is in a focus then i just need to make it purple so i need to set it to true state enable it is a true now shape i need to create so whatever uh, rectangle is there around the edit text right otherwise you have noticed that it is simply an underline kind of thing right one line is there but instead of that i want a box right so you can see over here i need to add the shape i need to set the property which shape i need to add so it's a rectangle which color so right now i need to set the color as a background white so here you can see white radius 10 dp so it's a rounded corner rounded corner over here and after that a color so which color i want to set so it's a color primary so here you can see add color it's a primary color now 
whenever it is not in a focused right so i just need to set it's a state enable is equals to true so it is a gray color right so now over here again i need to create a shape that is a rectangle then i just need to choose the color so i need to just set it as a white right and what is the color of that particular line border around it so that is a gray color you can see over here so this particular shape is created so similarly you also have to create a shape for password field so here also the same thing is over there so i have given a resource file name as it is a custom underscore password dot xml right so these are the particular box which is created around the edit text so both the box are there okay now you have to assign this to the particular edit text so how you can assign so there are two ways either you just go to the uh, particular attribute so here select this and go to the attribute right so draw, draw start right but you just go into the xml right so here is the uh, particular code for the xml and here you can see you just need to set this background sorry so what is the background so drawable custom underscore user right so whatever file we have created first so once you do that then that particular box will be created now the second thing is we need to put the icon right so as we have seen that here the icon is there over here in front of that right so how you can put this particular icon right so for that again we need to create a drawable resource new drawable resource you can just go into that right but we can use inbuilt icons over here so you can create a vector so there are some vector assets over here here you can see that we have these particular things some key parts available so here you can just click and whatever icon you want so that you can choose by typing so suppose here person so we normally keep it as a this particular icon we see that right so you just need to choose select okay and go to the next and that will be added so here you can see that I see underscore user focused. So that particular simply this particular file will be added. Now what you can do over here, this is a normal gray color file, right? So here you can see that this particular vector is added. Okay. Now whenever I click on a, that particular edit text, then I want to make it a focused. So I see underscore user focus. So you just need to copy paste that file create this particular file and just give it a purple color just give it a purple color right similarly for the password field again you need to add one asset right so you can just go to the drawable folder give vector asset and just click over here and just put the lock right so here you can see the lock sign is there so once you add it that will be added over here so i this this will be there you, just, you don't need to write anything over here. You just select as a gray color, normal default, right? Now, whenever I click on it, so it should be purple. So again, I need to click create one another file. Just copy paste it and give a different name when it is a focused. So I see underscore password underscore focused and give a color as a primary color, purple color. So I have given a purple color, but you can give any name over here for the color defined. You can also just go over here and just set the whatever things you want to set right so this is the particular design now what i need to do over here that right so the icons i need to add so again there are two ways to add the icons simply just go to the particular our main file design select it and drawable start so here you can see particular person icon right now in android manifest you just don't need to change anything but in this particular code file you just go to the android drawable start and you just set it over here so now 
one another custom person icon is there so these are the default things now here i need to create a custom icon so because i need to flip over it right so here you can see that i just need to create a person file so now here you can see that similarly what we did in our save file so whenever it is focused it should be purple whenever it is not focused it should be gray so here you can see that both the purple and gray similarly for this particular password icon whenever it is selected so you have to set this property state underscore focus true and give a purple color so instead of purple color we are just providing the name of it so here we have a created that particular file so we are giving a name of it right so that will be flipped that will be flipped it is very simple guys now you have to give this name to particular drawable start over here and that will be applicable now you can observe one thing over here that there is a space between over here icon and this enter so there is some space so that is that is known as the padding right so how you can set the padding for that so you can see over here the padding starts at 12 dp and it's at 12 dp so you just give the padding to that particular edit text and icon so that looks very nice right that's it guys you can also set the text size over here okay and uh, you can design like this overall padding also you can provide that is a 40 dp so you can just see over here this is the design of our professional looks edit text so you this way you can customize the any uh, particular ui widgets right so this is one simple example for customized edit text right so when you run this application so you can observe the things over here right it's a flip flop right so when it is focused it is there and when it is not focused it is a gray color right so i hope you can understand this particular example and you can create a beautiful uh, you can say professional looks uh, ui interfaces for your android application right that's it guys for this video